I'm gonna tase you. Turn over, I'm gonna tase you. Turn over, I'm gonna tase you. Yes. Watch, watch your elbow, buddy. He's trying to jaw for me. He's trying to jaw. Stop it. Stop it, I'm gonna tase you. Okay, stop it, I'm gonna tase you. Stop it, I'm gonna tase you. Stop resisting. Please stop resisting. Please. 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 Ah. I'm gonna tase him. I'm gonna tase him. They're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't resist. No. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Help. Help. Stop it. Help. 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 Stop it! Stop it! Uh -uh. Stop it! Stop it! Ladies and gentlemen, before I start this video, I want to get a shout out to Bishop Tabler Swan on X, formerly known as Twitter, for this video. And this incident happened on January 3rd of last year, which was 2023. Trayvon Martin, <clears throat> Mike Brown, Rakia Boyd, Laquan McDonald, Elton Sterling, Fernando Castillo, Eric Garner, Sandra Bland, Brianna Taylor, Ahmed Aubrey, George Floyd, and now Keenan Anderson. Now, even though this incident happened the January of last year, this is for the first time I'm talking about this story. Because I, I have no, I didn't know anything about it. I mean, I heard things about it, um, people talking about it, but I didn't even know that you know, this is for the first time I talk about this story. And it's, it disturbs me because this is continuing to happen. Now, this 31-year-old high school English teacher, okay, he was, you know, flagging a police down after he was having an accident, right? So, you know, you, you saw the video. Well, you saw parts of the video. Excuse me. You saw parts of the video and they claiming that he was resisting and everything. And you know those words? And, he, and this is what disturbs me about this. He said, and I quote, they tried to George Floyd me. This is very, very disturbing. Because all the years we've been here, I can't breathe and everything. When he said they tried to George Floyd me, that was disturbing. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, he if he would have complied or if he wasn't resisted, this wouldn't have happened. But guess what? Even if he was complying... Even he was, even though even if he wasn't resisting, they would do, do the same thing. Nothing changes. And I know some of the people are going to say, let's do police reform. That's not going to work either. Because they're going to have a legal loophole to make officers to get their money. The only way they can stop this is to end qualified immunity. That's it. Point blank. Period. But the president and congressional leaders and our political leaders don't want that to happen. Because if they decided to do this, they will finally hold these police officers accountable. But they're not going to do that. They're not. The people that I just named, we've been dealing with this since forever. And nothing's going to change, ladies and gentlemen. 
Nothing's going to change this. This isn't happened in January 3rd of 2023, which was last year. And again, this is for the first time I've even talked about this. Nothing changes. Even, and it happened with Oscar Grant. It happened um, with my cousin, Stephon Clark. All of this is continuing to happen, people. And, and they try to turn a blind eye of all of this. And people keep them protesting, keep them putting Black Lives Matter. All of this is going on because of the same problem. Nothing changes. See, this is the problem with this. This man has been tased to deletion. And these words he just said, they trying to George Floyd me. That was the most disturbing thing I've ever heard. Most disturbing thing. And until things change in this country, and until someone would have the balls to say, let's end qualified immunity, incidents like this will continue to happen. It will continue to happen. He was 31 years old. 31. He's still he's still a young man. Losing a life because he was tased to deletion. And this right here, it this should have this should have been avoided. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, uh, he should have complied, or he shouldn't even resist it. And again, even if he did comply, or even if he didn't resist. They're going, to do, they're going to continue to do the same thing to him too. Nothing's going to change this. Nothing. So until they decided to do qualified, in and qualified immunity, this situation will continue to happen. And, and then we just sit back and say there's nothing new. The media is going to try to find some on him saying, well, he's been in trouble with the law, blah, blah, blah. Doing Name a white person they would do that to. Find their criminal past. They're not going to. But they're always doing it to a black person. Because they can. It's ridiculous, y'all. Ridiculous. Y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments. And I'll talk to you in my next video. This is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.